Hello everyone, my name is Thomas and I'm going to give you the rundown of the life and times of my man Robert Owen. Alright, first thing I gotta say, I'm not trying to roast you Robert, but you were one strange looking guy. Dang. Now, for some quick facts about him. He was born in 1771 and would die 87 years later in 1885. During his life, he will travel the world, but most of his time will be spent in Lakeside, Scotland, or in Indiana. Robert spent his first 53 years in Europe. There he built four large cotton mills. These mills made him rather wealthy and gave him a lot of power and respect. After his rise with the Industrial Revolution, Robert wanted to conquer a new challenge, social reform. In 1824, he left Europe for the United States, hoping they would be more open-minded to his ideas. When first arriving in America, Robert wanted to keep an open mind, and his only real criticisms came from his philosophy that human character is formed by circumstances over which individuals have no control, and so cannot be personally praised or blamed. Robert wanted to reform education, health, and welfare systems. He dreamed of a true utopian society. In an attempt to do this, he created many works on his philosophy, including the book A New View of Society. He also conducted an experiment where 1,200 people lived on roughly 1,000 acres of land. He hoped by doing this he could make the cost of living cheaper and reduce poverty. Unfortunately, this experiment didn't really lead to anywhere. Robert wasn't always successful. In fact, he only really had a few rare successes. Most of his success came from the cotton mills he built before even coming to America. The problem was, once in America, his philosophy was unrealistically optimistic and almost impossible to actually carry out. However, his views and writing did bring a lot of attention to living conditions and would help to improve them later down the road. There came a point where Robert seemed almost obsessed with the idea of a utopian society. The problem was, he had no real strategy to obtain it, so most of his ideas were impractical and weren't really effective in the real world. I don't want all this talk about his own success to bring down the mood though, because Robert was one interesting guy. From a young age, Robert disagreed with the most popular religion, so he decided to create a philosophy of his own. He then used his philosophy to conquer the Industrial Revolution and make some serious stacks. After he was done slaying the cotton game, he decided to move to an entirely new country and, and try to take on social reform. Unfortunately, this didn't work out as well, but he never stopped trying to push his beliefs, so I can respect him for that. Robert's lasting impact can be found in both Europe and the US. In Europe, his mills put the small town of New Lanark on the map. It became internationally known for both its social and educational reforms. In the U.S., he produced lots of literature that represented his philosophy and gave lots of ideas on how to improve poverty and life in general. So in the end, Robert Owen was a self-made man who sometimes would pull his head out of the cloud long enough to change society.